this was built in 94 95 so let's see what this looks like when you open it up here we go I found a spot you can hear it popping open Wow, wow. This doesn't look as dirty as I was expecting. I was expecting with all the years of wear that this would have tons more dirt and grime and grease. And this actually, this actually looks pretty good. Shocking actually, but you can see all the bearings. I put in new bearings on that at the time, but that really looks amazingly clean. runs so smooth too. So we're gonna take this apart and make this a locking differential. But I'll take all the, you know, I'll clean it all up um, so that when we put this back together, it's gonna go back like brand new. So we'll first do that and, uh, and then I'll come back. The other thing to note is if you look at the gears on this, look at that. I mean, they're metal for sure but there's no real sign of fatigue or wear. I'm quite impressed with <laughs> how I must have put it together back in 94, 95. So um, that's looking really good. And so is the uh, differential gear, as you can see. So we'll just take apart the differential. This, I guess, will be the dirtiest part of the whole thing. Let's take a closer look. Not bad. I mean, that's pretty clean for... Jeez, 94.04.14. Yeah, I mean, it's almost 30 years worth of wear. And I mean, look, look, look at the gears. They're in actually, they're in really, really good shape for 30 years. So I'm gonna clean these all up and then I'll grab the pieces that I found in the box and we'll make this a locking differential. Okay, so I have now cleaned up all of the original gears in the differential. Here are the two pieces that came out of that box from the video I, I did that was what's in the box. So we are now going to build this as a lock differential. Now you'll notice that the lock differential does not show that you're gonna put any grease in this. And obviously the reason being is nothing's going to move. Before, these were all going to be moving parts. Uh, so you obviously would need the grease, but when you build it as a locking differential, essentially it's just going to be one solid piece, so there's no movement. Um, the only pieces that'll move are the, are the shafts that are inside, and we've got the bearings for that. So we're going to build this, no grease. So we're going to put these pieces in and add um, everything else. So you can see that this side has the gearing. You can see that. So that's this piece here. So we're going to take that, 
I'm gonna grab the washer. Uh, then we're gonna grab a bevel gear. So that's in place. Then we grab this part, which is now, you can see, we need to see where the, the rib part is gonna go because that is going to fit over the gears. And you can see that it's in line with the metal. Then we take this, which originally had all of these little bevel gears, uh, and now it's just gonna sit in there. Then we grab the other half. That's gonna now sit over top. And you can see that that's just completely, completely locked in place. Then we take the next bevel, um, yeah, I guess the bevel gear. That's gonna sit in place there. We've got another washer, whoops, washer, and then we put this together. So in terms of placement, once that is in place, I'm just gonna make sure it's wrapped up. We then are gonna screw that down so it's a it's a bit tighter fit but I mean that's just gonna get locked anyway so we'll just screw those in and then that's finished okay so now let's put this differential together Just tighten them up now. And again, I kind of go through it, just make sure that it is nice and tight all the way through. it is so there you go now this is a fully locked differential so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and rebuild the rear axle um, with this new lock differential okay so let's start the rebuild process so we're going to be putting on the grease There we go, fair bit on there. And then we'll put on a bit more grease here. side 
Okay, so we know that this is going to go in there. And we know that this side is going to go in there. And you see the bearing fell off, off of that side, but that's okay. And then we're going to put it back into the housing. So there we have it. And of course, you know, there's no differential, so I can't hold on to it. It can only go in one direction. But because of the bearings, this whole thing is running nice and smooth. So that's great. So then you can see that we're going to attach all of this. Now, if you remember, because of the Loctite, um, this is still that piece there is actually right here and is still fully attached. So I'm just going to move things around so that I can actually attach that properly because it's going to have to fit into the axle. OK, so we're going to put this um, bevel gear back on. And then we'll grab the transmission and make sure that this is sitting correct. Which it will be. Then I'm just going to add a little bit of grease onto that bevel gear too. Okay, so that's good. Forgot one other part, the other bearing. That's better. So I knew something didn't seem right when I was putting it together, but there's a, the bearing that sits there needed to go in. Now we're set. Okay, so let's try this again. Won't tighten them up quite yet.
Okay, so there we go. And I'll just tighten them up um, in this next little bit here. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next step 